Thank you for watching this DPL tutorial video series. In this series of six videos, I will show you the steps to creating a probabilistic Excel spreadsheet link decision model in DPL Professional. While it is possible to put all of the value model calculations in DPL, many times models are linked to Excel spreadsheets for this purpose. In such a model, DPL performs the probabilistic calculations and keeps track of scenarios, while Excel does the deterministic work, like calculating MPV. When starting a DPL analysis from a cash flow spreadsheet, the first step is to build a deterministic model within the influence diagram that's populated with value nodes and influence arcs that come from the named ranges and formulas in the spreadsheet. Value nodes can then be changed to decisions or chance nodes as appropriate to build out the model. The typical model building process goes something like this. Start with a deterministic cash flow spreadsheet. Make the spreadsheet parametric and name the driver in metric cells. These first two steps have already been done in my case. Build a deterministic influence diagram. Perform sensitivity analysis. Change value nodes to chance nodes, add decisions, and perform probabilistic analysis. And finally, analyze, refine, and update the model. The spreadsheet we'll use as a part of our analysis is named broadsword-pro.xlsx. It is designed to evaluate a new product development opportunity. It has two sheets, summary, and cash flow. The summary sheet contains all of the value drivers to the model as well as the metric from the model. At the top of the sheet are decision switches, in the middle are uncertainties and values, and toward the bottom is NPV or net present value, which is a metric that will be used to evaluate the new product development opportunity. The second sheet contains all of the calculations to the model. Note that NPV at the current settings is 10 million. All of the value drivers are linked through to the calculations in the spreadsheet. So if I were to change market share from 30% to 45%, the NPV goes up from 10 to 40. I'll undo that change before proceeding. Now I'm going to open DPL Professional. Upon opening, the examples navigator will be displayed. The navigator contains a preview of example models that have been installed with your DPL license. It can be opened at any time via the Help Examples Navigator button. For the purposes of this video series, I'm going to request that the navigator not be shown upon startup and close it, as I'll be building my own model from the spreadsheet. Once closed, I see that I have a blank modeling window maximized on the right-hand side of the screen. A DPL model is always a combination of an influence diagram and decision tree, but I can choose to model within my preferred mode, decision tree focused, influence diagram focused, or split halfway. DPL initially opens in a decision tree focused mode, which is indicated by the decision tree watermark and active command ribbon tab. Keep in mind that the influence diagram displays the main factors of the decision problem and their relationships, while the decision tree defines the order and structure. I'm going to start developing my decision model by adding spreadsheet linked values to the influence diagram. Therefore, I'm going to tell DPL this is my preferred mode for the model within the File Options dialog. As I add variables to the influence diagram, DPL will build a symmetric default decision tree for me, even though it's minimized and therefore not visible. To switch between the influence diagram and decision tree panes when one is maximized, I can press the Tab key or move the splitter. Each of the values added to the influence diagram will be represented by a value node and will be linked to a cell in the Broadsword Pro spreadsheet. If you'd like to follow along, the spreadsheet used in the tutorial is available on our website. You can click the information link located at the top right corner of the video pane to request a free 21-day trial license of DPL Professional. A link to the Broadsword Pro spreadsheet is available from the trial download page. Feel free to work through the tutorials as you watch. Now I'm going to briefly touch on the three nodes that will be used in this series. First, I'll be introducing value nodes, represented by a rounded blue rectangle in the influence diagram. Next, I'll be adding a decision to the model, which is represented by a yellow rectangle. Lastly, I will introduce uncertainty to the model by changing some of the value nodes into discrete chance nodes, which are represented by a bright green oval. So let's get started. To add linked values to the model, I'm going to click the Add Linked Node command on the Influence Diagram tab of the DPL command ribbon. The default link type is currently set to Excel Calculation Link. Clicking the Add Linked Node button launches the Create Calculation Linked Values from Excel box. I'll browse my hard disk for the Broadsword Pro spreadsheet. 
After clicking OK, the Range Names dialog appears. This dialog displays all the named ranges in the spreadsheet that are suitable for linking to DPL. I'm going to select Early Development Costs, Engineering Costs, Fixed Production Costs, Gross Margin, Launch Costs, Market Share, Market Size, Marketing Costs, and MPV. After clicking OK, I see that DPL has added these linked values as value nodes to the Influence Diagram. The first step in creating an Excel link probabilistic model. This is a good time to name my model and save it. I'll name the model within the Workspace Manager, a pane that displays all the models and outputs in the Open DPL workspace. Currently, there is just one model within the DPL workspace named Model 1 by default. To rename it, I will select the item, press F2 to rename it, and change it to read Broadsword. Now I'll save the workspace to a convenient location using the File menu and Save As. This is the conclusion of the first video in the series. In the next video, I will add influence arcs to the model and run a preliminary analysis.